thing. Oh crap! I gotta pull up my Facebook page and everything. I know what happened. He, he oh, goes live and look. Oh my oh, goodness! How cool. Oh man, who is that? <laughs> 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 uh, uh, that's awesome, Jamie. That is pretty sweet. I really yeah. cannot take the credit for all this, guys. It's uh, Jason is the one who really he did all that. Shine the spotlight Thank on that Jason. guy. No Thanks, joke, Jason. And he's going to be one of our guests, right? Yeah. You can, um, never mind. I can't. So before we even get started, because he was doing some mad skills, and I just so before we get started, let me just tell everyone. Y'all remember when Mr. John Matthews was on our show, right? And yeah. he's the funniest TikTok. I'm sorry, teacher. The funniest. Teacher, teacher on TikTok. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So my buddy Jason, who will be on tomorrow with, or both of them, Jason and Trey, he was on their show. He was on their podcast. They did a podcast, and he they featured him on their one of their episodes. So, so like, did they know him or? No, I introduced them. Okay. But you got your ears up, everyone. Our ears are up. Yeah. So pay attention to this and feast your eyes on this bad boy. Uh, okay. Here you go. Yo, 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 we got... Yo, 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 we got Scout the Psalmist, John Matthews 31, and TDP on the mic. Mom, I'm the 7 Eleven while playing volleyball. My mom, I'm the 7 Eleven while playing volleyball. Mom, I'm the 7 Eleven while playing volleyball. My mom, I'm the 7 Eleven while playing volleyball. Mom, I'm the 7 Eleven while playing volleyball. My mom, I'm the 7 Eleven while playing volleyball. Now, here's a little story about a nurse. She had it all together, everything rehearsed. But those things that opioids got in her life, she didn't know what was going on. She never see it right. She had some kids and she loved them so much. But she didn't know what was gonna go touch. So one day, she went to a 7-Eleven and B With knives out like a freaking ninja She see, she did it once Then she did it again like she was a Humpty Dumpty And it's all over again and oh no But the crazy thing, yo Is John didn't hear until he turned on the TV, bro and My mom robbed a 7-Eleven while playing volleyball 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 Wondering where the volleyball thing comes in Well, you see John, that's what he kinda did A little volleyball coach and breaking it through He loves those little spikes trying to keep it in cool Oh no, what am I doing? I feel it through He's also a TikToker and he got to keep it true Cause he's trying to get famous Eating ice cream out of hands Looking for the fines that he feeling it, man But the worst thing that's ever happened in his life be is COVID-19 Cause he's stuck on line teaching He doesn't even understand what's going on He wishes he was rather back in the day on my mom robbed the 7 Eleven while playing volleyball. My mom robbed the 7 Eleven while playing volleyball. My mom robbed the 7 Eleven while playing volleyball. My mom robbed the 7 Eleven while playing volleyball. My mom robbed the 7 Eleven while playing volleyball. My mom robbed the 7 Eleven while playing volleyball. Oh, I am changed. I'm a changed man after that. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That is that is uh, that is awesomely ridiculous, isn't it? Though? And I saw Andy the Angry Deer. Did y'all see him? No. Y'all didn't see him in the video. No. I totally missed that. Are you serious? I bet I'm eyes. Dead don't play it back. Watch it back later. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. <laughs> that was so awesome. Okay, so John was on their show, and so they did that for him. So part of their deal, you know what? Let's talk about it tomorrow okay. because they'll be on the show and we can explain okay. and they can explain what they did. But that's just a little preview for you. But guys, I wanted to give John a shout out. Um, I wanted to get some views on that and get some people hyped up for tomorrow's episode also. And so I thought that was a great way. And Jason's been such an awesome guy doing all these promos for us. I was like, dude, I totally want to throw something down for you too if I can help out anyway. So that was kind wow. of where that was at. That's that is, so awesome. That was great. <laughs> that 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 end part was pretty funny to me too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to hear the story on that from John later. Maybe we'll have to have you do an update for us, Sandy, on John. Okay. You know. But anyway, so since that took up so much of my time, just know that I was okay. But why don't y'all tell me about y'all's day? No, okay, stop. Go. Oh, stop. Sorry. We have to plug our business of the day. Oh, I don't know why here. you always try to skip past it. It's always your fault when we skip past it. Just so you know. 
Okay, thanks for telling me. Yeah, I just want to let you know. <laughs> so today's business is Flint Avenue Marketing. It is your one-stop shop for all things marketing. This company can build you an app, a website, run your social media, design your print materials, or even 3D print a prototype for your product. Wow. That's pretty cool. Yeah. They are located inside the Innovation Hub at Texas Tech and are serious about helping small business and all businesses get the most out of their marketing budget. Find them online at flintavenue.com or on any social platform at Flint Avenue. And um, Amy Wood is the one that sent me that. And we'll put their information into the comments and you guys can check them out if you have any marketing needs, especially now that we're, I think we're at 50% capacity for restaurants. Is that right? I think, I think I heard that. Is it yeah. starting to, tomorrow or I already? Was, I thought it had already started on the Monday, but oh, I could be mistaken. You know, miss current <laughs> events here. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay, Jamie, how was your day? It was, uh, it was okay. It, was, it's, it, it is what it is. Tomorrow's my anniversary, guys. Oh my goodness. How many you? years? 15. Woo. That is awesome. Yeah. It's going to be a quarantined anniversary, though. It really is, yeah. So you better step up your game. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> I don't know how you step up your game <laughs> in a quarantine anniversary, but you'll see. I already screwed up. She doesn't know, but I, I, I'm anyway. He we'll said I, it <laughs> I realized at 8.30, I was like, holy crap, stores close at 9. And it, it's not gift-related. It's, it's, you know, I like to cook and bake. So I was like, uh, so now I'm like, oh, gosh. What am I going to do now? What are you going to do? We'll and see. Have to do the show. So, and I have to do a show. Be, are you going to be here for the show? Because yeah, I am on your yeah. anniversary. Oh my! my uh, Doctor Pena, she gets uh, pretty tired early, so oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. more than it, night owl. I was mistaken. Mr. Crosby said it starts Friday at 5. Thank you, Adrian. I knew, I knew, I knew a little bit of something. <laughs> so I have to give shout out and props to Mr. Crosby because remember I told you, Sandy, I couldn't find the settings for the Netflix stuff. Yes. He he texted me and said, "This is how you do it." And so those settings were buried deep. So they're, they're not easy to find. I was like, so how did I find them? Because you know I don't look very hard for anything. <laughs> I'm about like a man in a in a pantry. Like, oh, I don't right, know right. <laughs> Well, it can only be done on the desktop version. Yes. And then you click on the settings, and then you go down into your profile, and then into your playback settings, and then hit this and that. But yeah, I finally got it working. So now I can look up Netflix movies, and they don't play the the whole freaking audio stuff whenever we're like talking about a show or something like that. So, it's so cool. I, I just want to say thanks, Adrian. Yes, thanks, Adrian, because he tried to call me a liar. Thank you for correcting me. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess my assistant must have done it. I was so proud thinking I had done it, but I don't remember doing all that. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I just thought I did. <laughs> yeah, or maybe you were right there whenever it happened. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe that's what happened. So how was your day, Sandy? <laughs> my day was good. What did I do? You got a lot of phone calls about Hale, didn't you? I've, yes, I've been getting all the awesome text messages showing me all of their help. And if you're not from Texas, does, does yeah. Illinois get hell? Oh, my gosh. We don't get as much hell as I can recall when Texas gets, but it's 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 rarely. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I was seeing storm, golf man. ball and ping pong size. Yeah. yeah. It was crazy. I've seen it. I've had it total out vehicles. Yuck. Yuck. The worst. Well, other than that, how did it go? Um, it was good. What did I do? I was gonna cook and then I was like, ah, let's just have sushi. <laughs> <laughs> so I Wait, slaved over at the, the sushi bar. Which sushi what? bar? The sushi bar. The you know, Abbey sushi bar? <laughs> do what? The Abbey sushi bar? No, we've already tried that several years oh, ago. Oh, I we're thought that's what you were gonna surprise bit. me with. I thought uh the assistant was gonna throw some sushi making skills out there and be like, what? He's tried it. We've attempted it. We're like, nah, you know what? For us. Uh, assistant, this is the challenge. You got to do it again because you're going to put it this time. You're going to put it on video and you're going to blast it and it's going to be awesome. So you, you got to do it again, man. Next week. Next week. <laughs> this is a face he made. <laughs> <laughs> and I quote. <laughs> <laughs> this is a direct quote. <laughs> yeah, direct I like that. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to freeze frame that after this is done and I'm going to put it on our, on our banner. 
Someone needs to put that in the comments so we can add it to our comment of the week. Even though oh. Sandy said it. <laughs> we'll, for, we'll feature you in the comments of the week next week. Right, Joe, how right. was your day? Uh, it was good. I got in one nap, so that's good. And then I, what did I do today? Oh, I actually, so I went to the office because I was expecting a shipment. And while I wasn't planning on doing too much, I ended up doing quite a bit of work. And so that was cool. Um, and then <laughs> I went out great. into the heat and did a photo shoot and melted basically. Uh, so yeah. I have I'm farmer tan right here and on my so but it was good. We, it was I don't miss that shots. heat. Oh, oh yeah, it was it was mm-hmm. muggy today too, like like ugly muggy. Yeah, I sat outside for like two seconds and I'm like, all right, this we're going inside now. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, I looked at the thermometer. I was like, it's only 85. Ugh. Yeah, it was my an hair ugly. almost moved, y'all. It was crazy. It was crazy. Your hair moved almost. Almost, um, almost, yeah. That's if it, if we would have done any more, then there would have been problems. Oh, <laughs> that's wonderful. So we got some cool merchandise on right now, don't we? Yes, we do. We do. Let me see. Look at that. Thanks, all to things, carry. Yes, to carry, and oh, it's gonna. It doesn't show right because of the the thing. It looks blingy. Just, look that's at that. Looking. We got she. Uh, Sandy can't show her pineapple because it's in the back, but yeah, we're sporting the pineapples. Yeah. Should we get to our guest? Absolutely. <laughs> we should get to our guest. So today's guest is a photographer, um, instructor, a Sony Alpha ambassador. And he started out as a really small guy, YouTube channel, and now he's like blown up. It's basically the uh, nuclear channel of uh, photographers. He's so he's got, got like six more guests than we do? It's, I'm Followers. telling you, a total of six more. <laughs> That's amazing. Right. Farrah, you're, you, got yeah. some, you got some challenge, Farah. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so his YouTube channel has like 60,000 uh, or more uh, subscribers. I think he's got 100,000 subscribers on Instagram. And more than that, he's a nice guy. And he's not, Aww. yeah, that's the cool thing is that he's never, he's not cocky or anything about his photography. Cause I remember when I started, there was always these old school guys that said that would look down at you. It's like, you're using that camera, that type of stuff. So. <laughs> you're <laughs> but, using your iPhone. Yeah. You're like, really? You're, <laughs> let me say this about him because I don't want him to get all shy and stuff, but he's listening to this. And let me tell you, I saw your pictures on your YouTube video, uh, channel, uh, Francisco and Wow, those things were amazing. This guy is fantastic. You guys got to check out his YouTube. I had I didn't even check out his Instagram, but man, the pictures he showed on there were the video they were just absolutely out of this world. He has some amazing shots on there. So I'm so happy that he's on here tonight, yeah. Joe. I, I appreciate yeah. you. So me without up. further ado, well, let's bring him on. Francisco <laughs> Hernandez, how are you, sir? Hi. <laughs> Hi. Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. So we Thanks. built you way up. So yes. if you fall flat on your face, it's your fault. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> and we don't do this, okay? We kind of just be like, oh. Yeah. It's okay. like, hey, we're, we're, we're here to push <laughs> you already, We placed you here, and if you just fall over, that's that, that's none of our problem. Yeah. I don't even know that you'll get some sympathy from it. We just might be like, well. <laughs> right. <laughs> tomorrow's episode, let's watch that video again. Right. <laughs> so, Francisco, tell us a little bit about yourself, and welcome to the show. Oh, well, thank you guys for having me on. Um, It seemed like a pretty cool show, so I'm glad to be part of it. Um, My name is Francisco Joel Hernandez. (laughs) I go by by so many names, but uh, uh, Francisco is usually the usual one. Um, I'm, like you said before, I'm a photographer. I'm a portrait photographer. I specialize in that. And I use lighting in my work. And it, it might sound very simple like that, using lighting. But it's so complex. So that's pretty much all I've been doing since I think 2011, just helping people learn more about lighting. And while I was learning, I was helping other people too. Whenever I would have like a, a eureka moment, Uh-oh. I need to tell people about this. So I wanted to go ahead and do that. And every, every time, uh, every time that something clicked, I, I did that, and um, it just kept going on and on till up to this point where I'm at. Yeah. So this wasn't your this wasn't your career path. This wasn't said, "Hey, I want to be a YouTube star, a Instagram star, or whatever." You didn't. That wasn't what the plan was. Tell us yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, it definitely was not on my list to become known in different areas of the world for something. I I was always like, growing up. I was always very shy. I moved like so many times throughout my life. I went to like about I think eleven uh, elementary schools oh, and wow. about just two middle schools and then one high school or two two high schools. So I moved too much. So I never got like comfortable with myself and meeting new people. So I was very shy growing up. So that young person grow, back to who I was before would never expect you know me to be where I'm at right now talking to people all over the world and and being a, you know, sponsored by Sony is, is is probably my biggest achievement personally and it just led to lots of opportunities and it's all from just helping people out and I'm really happy and proud of that fact because that's all I all I ever intended to do was just help people out and it became something from that that's, that's amazing awesome. so if you don't mind me asking, what does it mean to be a Sony ambassador? So the specific tier, because there's like two tiers. There's a Sony Alpha Imaging Collective members. It's kind of a long title. It's basically just the influencers that kind of use Sony. And with the ambassadorship, we get kind of access to special opportunities, um, special access to, um, like, like for example, like if Sony said, hey, we're coming out with a new TV, and we want you know some some images to be there, kind of to, you know as this display when you're just waiting for the TV to like load up or something. Mm -hmm. um, then you know those pictures on there we get like commissioned to take you know for those photos. Yeah, and just just lots lots of opportunities like that, and also like access to special events. And there, there's more stuff to it than that, but that's like the basic basic stuff that we're um, we're ac accessible to. Okay. But above us is the Sony artisans. And they're like the ones that get stuff early, cameras early on, and you know, use stuff ahead of time, even though they, they can't talk about it, but you know, stuff right. like that. Well, Francisco, yeah. let me tell you, after this episode, you're totally gonna get in that tier because <laughs> we are like we to raise people up. Yes. <laughs> and after here, all of our viewers across the world are gonna help you get there, man. Okay. All right. I'm down. Don't forget about us when you get there, okay? I won't. All I'll right. Buy awesome. a shirt. I'll buy a shirt. Yes. Very. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. This is what you need. You got to have a shirt, yeah. and then it just elevates. And I'll make sure your pineapple is somewhere different, so that you're not like all of us, because okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell us how you got started just in photography. Um, uh, I had an interest early on. I actually have. One picture, I have like a, a, a cork board of just like memorabilia and I have one picture on there. It's from a disposable camera. And I think early on I had like a, uh, I had like an attraction to kind of capturing moments. And early on it was just kind of like just family members and like a beautiful sunset or something like that. And then it became more about documenting my family. And then it became more stylistic in terms of how to document the family. And then when high school came around, I was able to check out a digital camera and I was I fell in love with that because using disposable cameras before, you're limited on a certain number. And right. then with using digital, I had like the flexibility of deleting a picture and take another one. So um, I really loved that. And then when I started to go to school for, um, for what did I go for? Um, a couple of different things, but I ended up landing in TV and film. Um, I needed a camera that recorded video so I got an, a, a much more, um, I, I upgraded my camera because I did sell candy in high school so I can buy my own can, uh, camera. Chocolate. Nice. <laughs> yeah. It's a right so sold, for most of us. <laughs> yeah, I sold, I, I was very friendly with everybody because they wanted to buy candy. Yeah. <laughs> so, Look, he's yeah. a candy man. That was your yes. name. Candy I, man. I, no, no kidding. That was actually what they called me. <laughs> really? I believe it. I yeah. believe it. <laughs> <laughs> It's yeah. like a good marketing strategy. You got to be friends with everybody. You got to be nice to everyone because you want more customers to buy your chocolate. Yes. I was a nerd and I would let people copy my homework <laughs> before the teacher came in so that they could buy candy. Whatever, whatever <laughs> sells the chocolate. <laughs> yeah. That was your early, that was your early, yeah. early, was your early marketing strategy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So awesome. I did that so I can buy a camera and then I bought a camera and then, when I went to school, I had to kind of put it on hold, taking pictures. I had to focus on my studies. And then um, after about two years, when I finished, like, what's it called? The the basics. I forget what it's called. And then um, then I was able to focus on, like, what do I want to learn more about? 
-hmm. then that's when I started to think about photography more about uh, about that. And that's when I upgraded my camera. And that's when I eventually got a light set up. And that's when it kind of like just sparked from there. Nice. Oh, wow. So we're actually going to take a look at your work and then oh, yeah. you kind of walk us through these images. And um, when I reached out to Francisco, I asked him to send us images that were kind of, uh, what are they called? Uh, milestones. milestones in his uh, ah. in his career. And so we're going to go through those shots and kind of uh, he'll walk, talk us through them and stuff like that. So we're going to share. He's going to be the third one, right, Jamie, we think? Oh, no, he's going to be the fourth one. Uh, Sandy, can we okay. bounce yeah, yeah, okay. you? Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> we love you. Just we'll be, hold on. What? <laughs> okay. There we go. I'm so All sorry. Right. Sandy, you're getting bounced to the bottom there. I know. <laughs> I hate that. All right. Here we go. Oh, okay. So the cool thing is I can zoom in a little bit since I'm using a different uh, software here. But this was your not your very first picture using off-camera flash, but the one that you actually liked. Is that correct? Yes. Um, I had just gotten uh, my setup, and I did take some pictures that were like, you know, the trial and error kind of uh, parts of it. Mm -hmm. But then this one here was like my favorite of the day. So this is my first off-camera flash photo with, you know, with the picture that I liked. And I see errors in it like right now, but back then I was like, this is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah but yeah. well, if you can't see any improvement from the your very first shot to now then maybe you just need to sell the camera so <laughs> yeah. something about yes. the the person too that really makes that picture yes. right yes it's yeah. my fiance she oh is. that's what it is <laughs> <laughs> yes. that is she awesome is. yeah okay so which picture i know you, you can you kind of see in here on the left yeah. which one would you like to go with uh, probably that that picture right there. Uh, it's the headshot, like a client of close. This yeah. one, yeah, yeah. This one I chose because I felt like this was the first um, picture that I edited, kind of like dramatically, um, and I felt like I was happy with, and I actually really like like the shot still. But back then, I was like like my best photo I've ever ever taken, and it, it's only because I when I started photography. Um, I was one of the people that thought if you edit your photo at all, then it's not really photography. It's it's. I was a purist, what they call right. it. Right. Yeah. We started that way. Yeah. We were all yeah. like, we don't need to edit. It's uh, the way that I shoot's perfect. <laughs> yeah. So I was in that mindset. So I didn't edit for a couple of years. And then when I started to kind of experiment more, more with that, I took this picture, with, which actually doesn't have any flash at all. It's just natural light. But I asked my brother because I, I he had color eyes and I was like you know maybe it would be interesting and then I fell in love with the composition and stuff too so um so I edited it fell in love with the edit and also the shot and I was just kind of I'm kind of proud proud of the shot for a while and then um yeah but the, it was kind of like a pivotal in that that aspect that I actually liked the photo because early on um I I was like not liking my work at every photo shoot so right. <laughs> Is there something in this photo, like even you look back at today? How long ago was this photo taken? I believe this one was in 2011, I want to say. I could okay. be wrong. I think is it's there, What is it in this photo that you really like? I mean, you're going to teach your own horn, man, and yeah. that's okay. So <laughs> what is it that really draws your attention on this photo? When you look at this, what's the thing that you're looking at and you're thinking yeah. the beautiful part, you know, the amazing part? What is it that catches you first? So the one thing with when it comes to photography, there's different lenses that have different purposes. And for the longest time, I had a camera that was limited in the terms of um, what's called the aperture. So that means like how much is in focus. So um, with this specific picture, I took it with my 50 millimeter 1.8, which is kind of like the first step into more creative photography. So I took this picture with that lens. So you're seeing even the the front of his cap, it's blurry. Mm -hmm. And I, I like that because over time, and what became my style was focusing on the subject for different, because I was able to take it with that new lens. That I, you know, I was kind of like thinking of as like a big upgrade from the, the lens that, I, that comes with the camera. Mm -hmm. So that was one reason for that. The fact that I was able to focus on his eyes because, yeah. um, with that camera and cameras in general before so you know sony popularized eye autofocus 
um, you had to kind of struggle to kind of get focused if you didn't know what you're doing, which is exactly what I was in the situation. <laughs> right. So, um, so I, I nailed focus on his eyes. So I was happy about that. And then aside from that, I just liked the composition overall. I liked the fact that it was kind of just drawn in. There was a little bit of the background right there in the corners, but it's just focused on him. And I don't think I had taken a, a, a headshot like that very close like that. So those are all the things that made me really like the shot. And then the editing was what made it further dramatic. And I, I really like that as well. But, cool. Thanks, man. Yeah. All right. Let's go with your, um, your, your viral shot, your first viral shot. Which oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So I think that would probably be the ones right there um, with the girl in the maroon outfit. Okay. That one. This one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so your first viral one. Viral. It, on I would say my first viral photo shoot. So, okay. Cause, <laughs> yeah. Because uh, for this photo shoot, which is with a friend, friend, uh, a close friend now, her name's Clarissa. Um, we did that shoot. It was the first. I think it was one of the first, if not the first, female model that I worked with. And we did that shoot to see, you know, kind of like uh, it, she she was represented at that time. And I wanted to see, you know, if anybody would want to work with me to, to develop my portfolio, if they need better photos themselves. So we set up the photo shoot and we had a good time. It was very relaxed. And after the photo shoot was over, um, well, actually during the photo shoot, I remember to take kind of behind the scenes shots of how the setup was and everything. And I would see pictures online that had the behind the scenes setup showing like how the light was positioned and all that, mm. all the stuff that you've seen there. Uh -huh. But for that photo shoot, I saw the potential in like labeling it funny. <laughs> and so I, I did my best to label all the photos with the behind the scenes kind of funny. Um, and then it kind of just sparked there. A lot of people in the groups that I was sharing it in were, were like, th thought that was pretty interesting. And then somebody in one of the popular groups I was in, the lighting groups, um, was the writer of a, a, a website called DIYphotography.net. And they featured the pictures talking about how it was an, kind of an interesting behind the scenes. And then that got picked up by another website and another website. And it kind of just kind of put me on the map. So, wow. Yeah. yeah. So th that was the first thing that, that I noticed too. I was like, hey, he's got interesting little <laughs> captions going on here. Like if you, you probably can't see it on the screen, but over here to the left, it says my Malibu off screen. That's and the then, first thing I noticed was his yeah. mouth right there. <laughs> right. And then there's right here, it says drug deal still going. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's because in another behind the scenes, you can see in the background a van. Just It wasn't even moving. It was just parked, not in a parking spot. So I labeled it drug deal going on. <laughs> uh, I didn't know what was going on. So. So yeah, sometimes we shoot in places that aren't so uh, the best part of some town. So you're right. You're very right about that. It says teamwork crew, right? Girlfriend, models, mom, and bro. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's like <laughs> something that usually goes on at photo shoots that no nobody really puts emphasis on. So I was like, I need to label it who's there and helping out. Yeah. So, yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Because the rove light, we don't even use those lights mm. anymore. That's old school. That, that, that's that's an old school light. This is 2015. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then over here it says railroad tracks too cliche. <laughs> so just a reminder, don't shoot on railroad tracks, people. It's illegal. Right. You got and you, you can't and you could die. Hit. Yeah. <laughs> so if you might get hit. Yeah, don't do that one. Okay, yeah. Francisco, let's keep going. What is an um uh, which one do you want to go? The one with? underneath it, I think, was was kind of like the next step there. This it's one? the same, yeah. It's the same year. Whoa! But um, and it was it was my first shoot that I took more than three shots that I was happy with. I want to say it was <laughs> one that it was one that I was like I got a little bit creative and I changed the colors to to it. Obviously, mm -hmm. you can see the red stuff going on, red grass. I changed yeah, the color. Told y'all it was. He changed the colors. Yeah. We talked about this <laughs> yesterday. It was it's in not, the fall. It's not like that. He did um, tell us. <laughs> yeah, so I was really happy with the shot because it kind of, it was like, it was my first step into kind of creatively editing, aside from that other shot of my brother, but like messing around with the, the colors and stuff. And uh, obviously she has a red dress, but she also had um, nice lipstick on, I believe. 
And then she also had kind of red tinted hair. It wasn't fully brown, but with, with like a red shade to it. Mm -hmm. So then um, I was like, you know what, let's go, let's go, let's go hard on this, on these colors. And then that's why I manipulated it that way. And I was also just a fan of the composition and the mood of the shot. So it's kind of one of the, the first ones I had that had the extra dramatic uh, nature to it. So I was happy with that. Nice. Yeah, that is a really cool picture. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Okay. So which <laughs> next one would you like to go to? Let's see. Maybe the... I want to say the one of the girl with the hat, maybe. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, a little short story about this one. She was actually represented by the same agency that the other model was from the first viral shoot. Mm -hmm. um, and she, I think she was on her way to like ending her contract with the agency. Oh. And uh, I remember shooting with her. And this is when I first started realizing the politics of, of different types of things um, regarding actual politics. So so what happened is that I set up a photo shoot with her and then the agency was like, you know, maybe, maybe not, you know, maybe <laughs> maybe you know, after you, you kind of earn it a little bit more. But I was like, you know what, let me just, you know, there's no law that I'm breaking. So, you know, her contract doesn't specifically state that I can't work with her. So I set up the shoot anyway. And then she stylized everything herself. Usually when I work with the subject or with the model now, I kind of always make sure to to figure out the outfit ahead of time. And this is kind of like one of my first photo shoots where I did that. So um, so she set up all the clothing herself and I took the photos and I remember being happy with them. We had a good time. Her name's Erica. She's a good friend of mine now too. And it was a good time and we, we got great shots and I was really happy because we also took these shots at a library. So this is in front of the library. So I was really happy with that. You don't even see it going on in the in the uh, in the photo, but there's a parking lot full of cars around her. So really? I was really happy. Yeah, I was really yeah. happy that I transformed it into kind of another yeah. another mood, another setting. So ugly location, great shot. <laughs> I thought yeah, were like in the woods or something. Yeah, I thought yeah. it was actually a tunnel of some kind too. Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday when I saw this, I was like, is that a tunnel? So. Yeah, there, there's a video of, of me doing the photo shoot. You guys can check out if you want. But I'm doing the photo shoot, and I was happy with everything, the, the, the mood, uh, the styling of the clothing, the tones, for one, because there's a lot of greens and browns going on throughout the image. So I was really happy with a lot of things. And then after, after I posted it, I think somebody from the agency said that these were, like, not good images, that, they, oh. that they, she, doesn't, she doesn't look her best and something like that. And... I want to say I, really, I wanted to choose this shot because it was something where I was really happy with, and then I was met with opposition to that that mm -hmm. feeling, and if, and instead of saying succumbing to that and just saying yeah you're right, I was I put my foot down. I was like no, she looks great. She liked the photos. I you know I'm happy with them. I'm happy with how they came out. So it kind of like was my first step in kind of being more comfortable and confident. So yeah. I, that's why I wanted to go uh, go ahead and talk about this image. Oh, that's good. Friend. Yeah, because agencies can be like little B words. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> it's like, yes. Francisco. I try to work with free agents. <laughs> so we get questions from time to time. And here's one that, and you mentioned it earlier. That's why I'm bringing it up. But it says, uh, do you enjoy the color green in your imagery? This is from Steve Castings. Ca oh, Steve Castings, yeah. Um, I, I would say I, I try to work with color in any image. So if I have a color that's really standing out, then I might like manipulate the rest of the colors to, to lean towards that. But green used to be my favorite color, but my favorite color now is blue and black. So that's why I have it set up right here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, which, which next image here? I think that one um, of the girl with the white dress. This one? Okay. Yes. I, I wanted to choose this shot because... I'm not a fan of the shot, but it's a it was a big step for me because when it comes to lighting, you, there's the different sizes and different like the, the smaller ones they're they're weaker but they're more portable, and the bigger ones are stronger but obviously not as portable. For this shot, it was I think my very first shot um, for photo shoot actually using the smaller lights and still getting kind of images that I really liked. So that's why I wanted to highlight that. There's actually, I, I forgot to show the behind the scenes photo of this, but there's actually a behind the scenes, but 
there's a, a light behind her and to the side, and then there's one in front of her. And back at the time, I was really happy with the shot. And I was like, whoa, I never, you know, I never took a shot. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> you said back at the time. <laughs> yeah. So it was uh, three lights then. Is that what you're saying? Or two? It was, it was two lights, but if you want to count the sun, then yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. The sun's in there too? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like right here on the tippy top. Yeah. Her hair. Her hair light. Yeah, right there. And then um, on camera, on the her left side, camera right is the, right here is the uh, speed light. Yes. Yeah. 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 Cool, cool, cool. And green. There's lots of green here. Yeah, lots of green here. <laughs> just, just for Steve. I went back in time. Took that shot from here. Okay. Your next next one? I would want to talk about the the one of the girl with the also maroon that's like this or up. Oh, this one. Yeah, that one. Okay. Because um, I was happy with the shot. I think it's not a perfect shot. I think that even the eyes are out of focus. But um, this shot I was really happy with. And again, it was kind of another milestone because for this photo shoot, um, I think it was the first time that I worked with a model who was very, very, very shy, very, very shy. And during that photo shoot, we were talking about different things. And sometimes I just be weird. And, I, and there was like, we we're taking photos and she was very shy and very, what's called deer in the headlights, very like this, like <laughs> <laughs> that was the, the, the emotion coming through and then um some leaves started to fall and i i was just saying oh it reminds me of pocahontas and then she's like oh you like disney and then we started talking about moana because i think i believe moana just came out and then we're talking about how the, the movie was awesome and how i cried when the grandma you know was a ghost and, and all that right. different stuff talking about disney what? and what my favorite disney movie is and hers in Moana, and, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and then after we started talking about that, you know, I, I put the camera down after she was like, um, you know, not giving me the expressions that I wanted. And then we started talking <laughs> about Disney. And then after we started talking and we got back to shooting, then she kind of just changed entirely as a in totally different person. She was much more relaxed, very, very comfortable. So I wanted to choose this shot to kind of talk about that because a lot of times people think that, the, you know, if the model looks great, then the photo, you know, there's no possibility of taking a bad shot. But if the model doesn't feel comfortable, then you're not going to take a good shot. They might look right. good. The, you know, the lighting might look good, but the expression and the comfortable comfortability, comfort <laughs> comfortability of the model we'll is very, it. very important. Yeah. <laughs> right. so, so I always try to make sure the model has fun and is relaxed and calm. And this right. is one of the first shoots where it kind of was put to the test. And I was happy with how I changed her mood. So yeah, that's, that's very true because a lot of people think that uh, that the emotion doesn't matter. But if your model is not having fun, you can see it in every yeah. image. If yes. they are not comfortable with you, you can see that. And so it's really important to have some fun. So I always tell the models, like, if you're not having fun with your photographer, get a new photographer. Because it's yeah, <laughs> that has to work yes. really well with photographers, boo. Because with co-hosts, you can't really do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And you can also see it too, like in a stressed out mother with children that don't listen, right, Joe? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have no, no idea. What no <laughs> okay. Um, the image maybe above that one. Okay. The older you know, gentleman. On the on that one, Francisco though, that one. Oh, okay. That was just cool, actually. So I was thinking right before you moved, Joe was like, I was like, man, this is just really like like I look at this picture and I see youth and I was like, there's just this S not this guy. Oh, okay. Like, oh, <laughs> Sorry. Right. This picture, you know, I'm looking at this and I'm just thinking in my mind, I keep thinking, I'm just like, man, it's just youth. What it, what it feels like to be young is what I'm thinking to be honest. And so yeah. just the dichotomy now, when you switch to the other picture, Joe, it's the opposite. Right. <laughs> and, but the glance that I got at that, I'm like, man, there, but there's, just, I see experience wisdom in this. And it's just, I like, absolutely love this picture. I just want to hug this little man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's another thing that 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 makes this picture extra special. I think it was his first like formal photo shoot ever, and we did it for I, I can't remember the specific year, but it was like maybe eighty something birthday. He's he's no longer with us anymore. It's Aww. my my fiance's um late grandpa, Aww. and both the grandpa and um you know her family's grandpa and grandma were very like important people and to the rest of the, uh, the family. And they have a huge family down here. So it was kind of a big impact when, when he passed away. And one of the pictures that they used was this picture here. 
um, for shirts and for like the, the tombstone and different things that were very important. But that was after the fact that he passed. But during the, the you know, taking the shot, the thing that really stuck with me was that it, I think it's my very first shot that I took where I, I, I did the style that I have now that I've developed. It wasn't something that I knew how to achieve back then. So when I see this shot, it feels like it's one of the first shots that I took that kind of led me into knowing exactly what I like and how I could replicate that style. So for that, for this shot, it's the fact that it's a two light setup. There's dramatic shadows going on the side of his face. The fact that his expression is nice there. Um, expressions are something that I kind of learned slowly over time to, to grab good expressions. And um, I, I was happy with the composition, the fact that he's placed in a spot where there's no trees around him. So he's just kind of like nothing behind him. Yeah. And just a lot of different things that really kind of led me on a path to developing my style. So it was kind of a pivotal moment for that. And then it then it later on it became important because it was one of the one of the first, if not the first, shot that was super important to people because of the fact that he passed away. Yeah. So it, yeah, kind of it's kind of important for both of those reasons. Nice. You got a great shot of someone who was very loved and I mean, that's a, that's a beautiful shot, man. Yes. Yeah, thank you for this shot, for this photo shoot. I also wanted to, I should have, um, gave it to you guys too, but there's a picture, there's this picture, which is very, um, very moody. And then there's another picture, which the family knows him for being very silly. And he's just there messing around with the, a cap and they have, they put a cap on him. Very funny. And yeah, yeah, so, so there's that, that, that also, it's really nice. Nice. Yeah. Okay, what else we got? I'm going to read this comment while you're looking for that real quick, Joe. Just okay. uh, Francisco Joyce had said something a little bit earlier that she says, she felt comfortable with you after take after talking to you. As a hairdresser, she's a hairdresser, uh, it's about getting to know your client as well. Sounds like you did great. The pic is beautiful. You can see it in her eyes how comfortable she is. Ah, but thank you for commenting. It is important. Yeah, if you don't have that uh, that rapport with your model, um, it, and the, the bad thing is uh, it can actually uh, affect future business with you because mm. they be like, hey, that guy is not fun to work with. So mm. <laughs> it's like, don't use yeah. him or whatever. Right. Or in the opposite, in this case, she's probably going to – she probably has just mm -hmm. talked really great about you. Be like, man, I was feeling whatever and weird, but then he really just kind of opened up and really made me feel, man, I, I would totally love if more photographers were like that. Right. And yeah. So, I, I – I, I, at my photo shoots, I don't try to just take pictures of people and then forget them. I try to remember everybody I, I've worked with because they're people to me. And and I, I don't know. It's just it's just fun that we kind of experience something personal together, a photo shoot. So I I, I remember her name is Jennifer, mm -hmm. and she draws she draws Disney characters in, on Instagram. Right. <laughs> that is cool. That is cool. Caleb, is it okay to ask him a question from Caleb, Joe? Sure. Okay. Caleb has a question more technical for you, I think. I've been trying to get to this point, and he put this up when this picture was up. Um, I've been trying to get to this point for a couple of years now. Still learning, but getting closer. Okay. Yeah. So question, I would say, but... yeah, I would say learning uh, learning lighting um, is very important because you have the you have the control of getting a dramatic look or something else. And when you're left to just lighting like the sun, uh, if we were to just go ahead and just take this shot without any lighting then he'd be completely dark and I wouldn't be able to take that shot. So I would say lighting is something that's very important to learn um, because then you can get different kind of moods that you might be aiming for. Right. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Keep working on the lighting, Caleb. Yeah. <laughs> we got a See, couple more that we can get to here, Francisco. Which ones do you want to? Um, I'll probably skip the one of me. Just the only thing <laughs> I wanted to say about that one is just that I used a big modifier and I was happy with it. So I took a shot with it. <laughs> and we always have to do the crossing the arm shot for the guys. Yes. Yeah. 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 Poses yeah. that you can do for guys. Crossing the arms, hands in the yep. pockets. <laughs> I was going to tell him if he, like you should cross your arms and then think about your arms where they are. Because like right. every time I ask somebody to do that, if they're they're like, wait, how do I fold my arms? How do I? <laughs> like, where, where do my fingers go? Yeah. Where do they naturally? Put my finger up, or should I hide them? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> both of them showing or only right. one? Right, exactly. They get yeah. so, so concerned yeah. about on the Yeah, line. there's a lot that goes on. Yeah, it's like crazy. <laughs> That's like in uh, public speaking. We've, talked, we've had a public speaker in the past, uh, Francisco, and one of the things is that, you know, they teach you in public speaking to always keep your hands to your side, not wave them around and just, you know, whatever, or put them in your pockets. They literally just keep them to the side. No, really? Like, no, yeah. Like, oh, I talk with my hands all the time. I can't. <laughs> Everybody do does. Everybody, look at this. See? Everybody <laughs> does. <laughs> yeah. Here you go. Awesome. Uh, um, I guess the next one you could go is the, the one of the girl on the top there. Right. Uh, yeah. the, this one? Yeah. Yes. That one. Okay. Yeah, this is from a shoot. Again, it's a, with that model before. Um, her name's Huh? Yeah, the, the one with the hat. Yeah. Yeah, okay. mm -hmm. yeah um, this was my first YouTube video that I made. And I was happy with it because um, the reason why I made that, uh, did that photo shoot and made the video was because I would get asked about, um, when it comes to photography, there's different types of ways you can modify them. And this one is with a, an umbrella style uh, modifier called an Octabox. And there's different sizes. They're small, medium, and big size. So I made this video to talk about why you would choose one over the other. And it, it was kind of educational in that sense. And it was my first YouTube video ever. And it, it, it was very, uh, I was very fortunate that I, this got picked up by some, some uh, photo news websites. And it kind of, again, put me into like on the spot again and kind of gave me a little bit of following. So I was really happy with that because again, it was my first YouTube video and it's, there's even mistakes in that video in terms of the audio. It's only going off in one ear, so I wish I could change that, but uh, I can't. So yeah. Um, yeah, that was my first YouTube video. So I wanted to go ahead and put that there because it, it was uh, very important to me. So yeah. how many YouTube followers do you have now? 64,900 and something. <laughs> oh, wow. A little bit more than I have. Just a, bit more. a few more than our 10. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Hey, Francisco, I got a comment here that's pretty encouraging. I want to read off to you, okay? Yes. It's a, it's from Felicia Sepulveda. Sepulveda? Sorry. I have followed Francisco for a couple of years now. His generosity with his knowledge goes beyond what I expected from local photographers. Lol. But his tips and tricks have definitely allowed me to grow in many areas of photography, lighting, understanding modifiers, posing, colors, and much more. Rapport with models and clients. Yes. Um, I, I do my best, honestly, just to help people out in any way I can. If I help them just a little bit, then I'm, I'm happy. And hopefully that little bit of knowledge can you know, impact them in a, in a good way in terms of the, the client getting better photos or, but like, again, better rapport. I remember Felicia, we, we shot at um, UTRGV, which was UTPA back then. And I, I think it was a practice shoot. Was, I can't remember if it was Daryl or if it was somebody else. But yeah, I remember, I remember the shoot. I remember it was a very good. It was very, it was it was during a time where it was just fun to learn different things. So I'm right. glad that she's been following me for such a long time. Yeah. So the cool thing about Francisco and I is that we want to share as much information as possible with anybody that's willing to listen. Yeah. Because uh, pop, just you like when I started, no one wanted to share. Probably the same way that when you started, no one wanted to share. It was a it's, it was a secret society. And we, <laughs> we were outsiders coming into this secret society, stealing clients and all that stuff. So um, we, I think our our thinking is very similar. It's like, hey, if you want help, we'll help you. And so yeah, yeah, that's the re the whole reason why I've gone to the place where I am now because I just I I wanted to share with people. I wanted them to grow better. I still want people to get better in terms of photography than I am. I want them to get better than me. If they get better than me, if they are more successful business wide, uh, then I'm, you know, then I've done a good job, and I'm happy with that. Awesome. So share your knowledge, guys. When you're yes. learning it, share it. Also, <laughs> yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. So if you don't know, um, Francisco, we're pretty much done with all these pictures because we're running out of time. We're always running yeah. out of time here. <laughs> um, but uh, if you want to learn from Francisco, he actually has a Facebook group called Learn to Light and OCF Lighting Community. And right now there are 92,000 members in that group, including wow. myself. <laughs> just 92, Francisco? Just, just 92,000. Yeah. Uh, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> so, Francisco, we're, we're nearing our 
end the time with you. So we'd like to give you a moment to uh, just plug anything that you want. This is your, you can do whatever um, that you feel like sharing uh, during this time and just kind of go from there. So um, I'm going to let you have the floor. Okay. Well, I, there is a question there that said if there was off camera flash on that photo and there was. Oh, oh I just yeah. Just wanted to that real quickly. But um, yeah, you can find me at FJH photo pretty much everywhere on Instagram, on facebook.com slash FJH photo. That's my personal profile, I believe. But that's totally fine. I don't mind adding people and, on Facebook if I don't know you. As long as it's photography related and not weird, then, then we're, we're good. <laughs> I don't know. But, what um, don't be weirdos. People. Yeah. Yeah. No, please don't be weird. <laughs> but, um, I to help out all the time. And you can, if you guys find me on YouTube, anywhere else, and I have a you know social media account, then more than likely, if you send me a message, I'll get back to you within a couple of days, maybe even a couple, the same day. So I, I, I do my best just to help people all the time. So you guys can just follow me wherever at FJH Photo. It's actually FJH Photography on YouTube, though. So yeah, <laughs> nice. Nice, nice. Yeah, and he does this for free, y'all. That's, that's I awesome. do. That's awesome. <laughs> I was like, do. so, you know, that that's the thing. I don't do it for free, but still. <laughs> right. <laughs> is it only, is it, is, is your, as the subjects we brought to bring up to you is only for people? You know, I, I might know someone who's interested in taking photographs of food and stuff like that. So I don't know. I just, All right. the, the them, you know. knowledge that I help with, you can apply it to, a dog, you can play it to oh. a lamp, whatever. Yeah. Right. You hear that out there, guys? <laughs> I can't exactly. work for food and dogs. <laughs> like, ask him the last question. So, yes, Francisco, we ask every one of our guests who come on um, to give us a topic for a future episode. And so we'd like to ask you, do you have a topic that you'd like for the three of us to introduce or cover for a future episode? It, it has I, to be PG-13. And... <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, <laughs> Have you guys done a, an episode talking about like sign language and, and a sign language interpreter? The, I thought that would be interesting. No. Because it's like a, that'd be very interesting. I took sign in language my, for like two, maybe three years in high school, though. I learned it when I learned the ABCs in one, one summer. So I can do like A, C, <laughs> nice. That's so awesome, dude. Is that why you, you just came out of the blue? Yeah, or you know where, someone why, why that? Yeah. Or? Well, I was thinking about how how I help people with mm -hmm. stuff. And then I was thinking, what's another way that people learn? And, and I remember thinking about, um, you know, babies can learn sign language and it's crazy. The fact that you can communicate with a baby with you sign language. And I just started thinking about that. And, you know, and the fact that it's kind of like a universal language. So, that, you know, no dialect needed, no way of saying it wrong, unless you maybe say it, you know, with the right. broken finger. <laughs> yeah. So I just thought it was pretty interesting. Wow. Okay. I love it, man. I love it. That's it, cool. It, yeah. It reminds me of when I used to work at KFC and I started talking the sign language to one person and all of a sudden all the people in the, who talk sign language in Lubbock started coming to that one. And I was like, I don't know a lot of words, guys. But... <laughs> right. I don't like, slow it down. Slow yeah. it down. <laughs> and they were cool, though. <laughs> so, That's cool. cool. Like, we have some more people reach out. I took oh, a lighting okay. workshop with Francisco and this really helped me feel much more confident as a photographer. Oh yeah, I remember. Oh, He's so like, I remember. Classes. You offer classes. I remember too. all my photo walks. I remember them all. That is so cool. Um, yes. Let's see here. And then Caleb, Caleb, you might want to get with Francisco a little later about this. Yeah, my issue is totally. getting even lighting. I tend to get some darker shadow spots in my shots. So I try to get the strobe as close as to the subject as possible, but it seems to not look completely clean. Let so, me know. We can yeah. we can work together. Yeah, so oh, the best wow. thing is to send an image and let him know what you're what you're thinking, and then he'll critique it for you, and then offer you points and stuff like that. So, yeah, it, for sure. Yeah, like giving us a, a description like that kind of we're like, uh, well, it sounds like this, <laughs> but we without like seeing the image it itself really helps. Yeah, right. Yeah, seeing the image really helps. Awesome. Well, Francisco, thank you so much for joining mm -hmm. our show. I hope you had a good time. Thank you. I did. I did. Yeah, you guys are awesome <laughs> people. <laughs> we try to be. Well, this half. No, it's kidding. <laughs> All right. Well, this bottom half was the fun side. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for joining us again. And um, yeah, it, I, we will definitely look into the uh, ASL thing. And um, we appreciate your message. And other than that, sir, you are good to go. 
We right. appreciate well, it very much. Have a good night, Francisco. Thank good you. Good night, Francisco. Appreciate Thanks. you coming, man. Yeah. Thanks. Good night. Wow. So I don't say this about too many people, but his photography is sometimes better than mine. <laughs> 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 but no, he does really good work. He does really good work. And I uh, it's funny, again, I've watched him grow from his little YouTube channel to 60,000 members. And it's just incredible to see that type of stuff. And it's, they told me, these two people right here said that I would be fangirling right now. But I don't think I was. Oh, no. <laughs> I, <didn't ask> <laughs> I was going to be like, uh. I know. I, I, I'm having to wedge this. It was like taking an ice pick in this conversation, and I'd be like, right. "I got a no. question right here." Oh no. wait, this person saying this over here. <laughs> well, I, I, I you go back questions. and rewatch it, Joe. Uh, so, are you trying to say that I was talking too much? Think about what you've done, Joe. No, because it's a subject that I really Joyce, like. Joyce, are you still in here? Joyce, it's are you still in there? That I really like Help and Joe love out, and passionate about, and mm -hmm. he's the. It was obvious. He, he's like the same as me. Dude, there was nothing way wrong better. with, yeah. yeah, way better. But oh there was my nothing goodness. wrong. Like, <laughs> it'd be like you have you being the iPhone and then him being the Sony Alpha. Oh, okay, all right, something like that. Yeah. Anyway, uh, it was totally obvious. And there's okay, there's, 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 a cell phone. Hmm. What? Like Does Sony make a cell phone? Um, yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, they did. They did. They Xperia. Oh, okay. I don't know. I'm an iPhone guy all the way, so I don't know. But I think it was cool seeing you get uh get all all red in the face with him today. So. Well, that's, the, that's the color of the lighting. That is <laughs> oh god. <laughs> you that know, we were, just, we were debating if there was lighting issues before the show started, but now Sandy and I know now what it was. Yeah, really. Because <laughs> you just went like two or three shades red more now. <laughs> He, Joe wants to end the show right now because he wants to go to the green room and talk with Francisco. <laughs> Just, you know, he want, like, I want to hang out a little bit more with him. <laughs> that is fake news. <laughs> so, I have a question in photography. I was trying to ask this of him earlier, but I couldn't get in. Go figure. I'm, I need a buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> sure. But anyway, so, okay, so if you want, because I like, lan like landscape, not, mm -hmm. not people. Right. And so would you still need the same lighting setup or you just go out there and you know, do you need light? Well, so not for landscapes. You okay. really wouldn't you really wouldn't need lighting for landscapes unless you're trying to do like um it's called night painting uh -huh. or light painting and stuff like that. Like you mm -hmm. could paint um if you're trying to take a picture of the stars and then you want the cliff to be bright, you would take a flashlight while and then paint that cliff uh -huh. with, with with the flashlight. So you could actually get that lit up in your picture. Oh, okay. Because I don't want to carry a bunch of stuff, but I want to be a photographer. I'm with you, Sandy. Well, so I would tell you that. Three uh, pieces or less for her. Thank Lens you. Landscape <laughs> photographers <laughs> use a lot of equipment too. So, so you have to carry a lot of stuff for landscape? So there's you'll need a tripod. You'll need uh, indie filters. You'll need different lenses. Um, if you want to, yeah, you want to make sure that you have it, yeah, there's a lot of stuff to it. And yeah. if you're usually you're like holding, you have your um, you have your camera there. So you'll need something to hold it still if you're taking a long exposure and stuff like that. So it just kind of depends. But on the most part, yeah, you still need a lot of equipment. <laughs> OK, I'll just look at National Geographic. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know, I wanted to tell him, too, it was like I really love out of all his shots. Like I get that dark or night or the evening, you know whatever you oh, want yeah. to say mm -hmm. from that. And right. those are the shots that I always love more. I mean, don't get, I mean, it's not, anyway, I just like when the shots are darker, right. they just look amazing. You know, I've told and you right. in the past with right. the food stuff, like I want to take photos of some of the food with a darker tone in the background right. and stuff. And so his was beautiful. Yeah. His and night photography is hard. It's so hard. I know. I try to take a picture of the moon with my cell phone and <laughs> it doesn't work out. I feel you, Sandy. I'm the same way. I'm like, where's that big moon? Here we go. And I'm like, yeah. well, it doesn't look the same. No, yeah, here? it's tough. Yeah, night photography is tough, especially if you're using like off-camera flash or an, another piece of lighting. It's it's really not that easy to do. 
you know, it would have been cool is if he'd have came up here. It would have been so cool if he was at the at the spot next to me when I went to go see the uh, the complete solar eclipse a few years back. Like, because taking that picture, I I was able to even do that with my phone, and it didn't look as well. But I saw other people who had taken them, and it was just like, holy crap, man! Yeah, and you're just like, "Mm, I'm not gonna post mine. (laughs) No, I posted it. I posted it. Yeah, I was proud of mine. I'm not gonna lie. I know it wasn't as good as his, but I was there. Where were you? (laughs) Yeah. So the crazy thing about taking a picture of the sun, you put, you cover it with like foil or something like that, and then you just put a little toothpick hole. And that's how you take a picture of it, of the solar eclipse. And how do you know where you put your hole? Right in the middle. The middle of the lens? The middle of the lens. You can do that on your cell phone too? Technically, yeah. All right, James. <laughs> <laughs> have to wait for the we'll next summer set. <laughs> coming to a solar eclipse near you. <laughs> oh, I was coming to for the sun. I didn't realize. <laughs> oh, sun. I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll do tomorrow. I'll talk about right. it. You know, it's yeah. a weird thing real quick. We're talking about Eclipse now. I know it's off, but let me just say, did you know when you're in a, a total, I was able to witness a total solar eclipse and oh. in a total solar eclipse, you can take your glasses off when it reaches its apex. Like right. you could take them off and you see it. And guys, yeah. it is the most insane thing to ever witness with your eyeballs. It's like how in the world and the temperature drops, the night lights come on. The crickets start chip tripping. Uh, the animals they all start like freaking out and going into their barn. It's like it literally it was and it was like ninety a hundred degree weather and then all of a sudden you get this chill. It was it's insane. And then not yeah. only that, you're seeing this giant hole in the sky and it's like what? Yeah, that's why like the the Japanese culture back in the day they if people couldn't predict why the uh, solar eclipse would happen, they would chop off somebody's head. What? <laughs> yeah, because like. They're thinking that the uh, the dragon that swallowed the sun needed a sacrifice. Oh my gosh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so who do we have on tomorrow, y'all? Well, we have. I'm sorry, tr- uh, the whole head thing got me, guys. Um, <laughs> we have special guest flows for you, which is a podcast by Jason Riley and Trey. Trey, I don't even know your last name yet, man. Sorry. Uh, But Jason and Trey, they're the guys, Jason is the one who's been helping us make our intros. So they're going to be on tomorrow night. And Trey is a beatboxer and Jason is a rapper. And so with the both of them together, they're going to be doing some raps tomorrow night on the show as well. Yeah. And that helps cover our music theme that who picked, who picked uh, the music theme? um, David, David, David David, Russell, our wrestling uh, podcaster. Yeah. He wanted music. And so this helps cover that theme. It does. (laughs) So we're really excited to have them on. And then Friday we have our food uh food uh <laughs> food episode. I was gonna say food photography. Yeah, we have and there might, we might play another game. <gasps> oh nice. What? We're gonna play another game, he said Sandy. Oh play another game of cahoots. Gotta try to defeat Sandy, guys. She's the one to beat. Yep, yep. Awesome. Good luck. All Let's right, guys. Go. I'm gonna just hang up on everyone right now. <laughs> like, love you all. I hope you all have a great night. Yo, 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 we got Scout the Psalmist, John Matthews 31, and TDP on the mic. Mom robbed the 7 Eleven while playing volleyball. My mom robbed the 7 Eleven while playing volleyball. Mom robbed the 7 Eleven while playing volleyball. My mom robbed the 7 Eleven while playing volleyball. Mom robbed the 7 Eleven while playing volleyball. My mom robbed the 7 Eleven.